All right, everybody, welcome back to Out of Bed. I'm Mia Malkova, and I'm here with Gabby Epstein. Trying so hard not to do this. Please sign. Mm. Week one, didn't do it. I always feel like I'm going to go somewhere with it, and I just don't. Yeah, it just trails off. Yeah. Every... Gabby Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> the title and no, that's the... that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that, guys. We have nothing that's... else to add to that sentence. <laughs> So, I would like to talk about what I've been doing this week. What have you been doing this week, Mia? I've been hate watching on TikTok. I love hate watching. Mm-hmm. And I do this with I do this a lot, I'm not going to lie. Like I'm very much I'm never going to write to them or comment, but I'm going to like it. I'm going to show it around. I'm going to tell my boyfriend all the drama that's happening. But I just love hate watching, especially influencers when they do dumb influencer things. So my my current fascination is Jojo Siwa. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Just. I've never liked her brand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's, she's ever, I, yeah, I'm about to get really aggressive like this isn't a real person, but I'm going to turn What's her brand? She looks like a lesbian at Target in the Midwest. She is a lesbian, <laughs> right? So big. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know much about JoJo. She, like, she looks like a, like a soccer mom divorced or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's way too much for me. It always has been. Um, she, her, she like goes towards she's kids. She's so pretty though. She's, she's very pretty when she's not covered in bows and sparkles and face paint. Um, oh God. Yeah, she's cute. She's cute when she was a little girl, especially. Like, that's that's adorable for kids. But anyway, she came out with a new song. Um, I forget what's It's called Karma. And the music video, it's interesting. I don't hate the music video. I, I really like what they did with there's this whole, like, creature from the Black Lagoon scene. Is that what that I costume mean, was? I think so. She like comes out of the water and she's almost like the swamp creature coming out. And I thought that was all really cool. What but is this thriller? Like a, a thriller remake? What the fuck is she coming out of the water for for a song called Karma? I don't know. I don't know. I just like the visuals. There we go. What the? Yeah, the visuals. She's very, yeah, she dry humps a lot of women in it. But that's that's one of my issues. Okay? The, it's the song. Oh, God, the, the song and the so lyrics. Just- Diving. It's, I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. And in my head, I'm like, Jojo, like, whose pussy did you eat? Like, is that really that bad? <laughs> like, like are you, were you really a bad girl? Like, I know some things. I don't think you were. <laughs> like, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I know there's a lot of girls who could be like, uh, you don't deserve to say that. I mean, it's, it's, it's a big call. Yeah. But basically, some PG rated just experimentation yeah exactly exactly well not pg but yeah just just normal experimentation for your sexual orientation it's just it's not bad but at at the same time i hate the song with a passion i hate it but it's one of those things where it's suddenly in my head because i hate it so much and because i went down this hate watch tiktok rabbit hole so I'm just walking around like, I was a bad girl. <laughs> and, I <just> oh, wanna... <laughs> and then she has this stupid TikTok where she's like, like it or not, guess what's been on your mind? I'm like, fuck, you're right. <laughs> Is that what she's talking about? Is she talking about being bisexual, being lesbian when she said I've done some bad things? I really don't. Because like, I'd have way more respect if she was like talking about like tax fraud. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, cool, do something illegal. Yeah. Commit a felony. Like, if you're going to say that you've been a bad girl, commit a fucking fel- felony. Exactly. Like, like do something. Who, did, who did you before. have Who did you have murdered? Like, Don't drink and drive. Like, Don't drink and drive. Well, like, where you know were these thing? bad things? Yeah, like, go, go sell some fake IDs. Get, I don't know, rob a bank. I'm, Just expand your thought process. Pro- I'm so well, tired. What was, the fuck am I saying? That was one of, that was one of the things too um where she was on the set and she was like that's it we're we're grown like we're adults now or I'm an adult now and this is like her coming into adulthood. And oh, it's God. just still very childish um which is just very interesting. But I I really love how my thing when I hate watch someone is I love how I'm not the only one. And it's a popular thing all over, and we all just get together and we bully. I bully internally. 
Oh, oh yeah. Until I, I have a podcast, podcast now. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> podcast, I hate listen and hate watch. You like, hate listen to a podcast? Oh, I think the podcasts I'm most addicted to are the ones where I don't agree with anything. Yeah. Perfect. Let's get some hate watches. You rack up some views. Cool. Perfect. Do you know who else I hate watch? Who? Hmm. Matt Reif. Oh, that's so funny. And I actually... I have a little crush on him. He's gorgeous. And he's very good with his crowd work. But during his whole um, his whole drama with his Netflix special, mm-hmm. I was one of them. Because like I, I turned it on. I was uh, at the table and I was like building Warhammer with my boyfriend. And we just watched a really good, a uh, really good Netflix special that he put on. I was like, hey, I have one. Let's try this guy. He's funny. And we put it on and 10 minutes in, I'm like, this is bad. Does he hate women? And then I was like, I was like this. I was like, it's just not funny. And then at the same time, I was like, I said the words. I guess I've only seen his crowd work. (laughs) (laughs) And then I go on TikTok, and everyone's like, and here's the thing. I'm not insulted by domestic abuse or anything. Like, like I would love a good domestic abuse joke. I would love one. He just didn't give me one. That's the that's the issue. If you're gonna go there, you gotta make it good. I didn't watch it. I watched 10 minutes of it and I turned it off. I just had it but then I, I'm like, well, I'm just going to listen to everyone else. Yeah, and then I hate watched all the like TikTok stuff because I, I agreed with all of it. So, there, there were some things that people were doing when they were popping up and they were really insulted. They're like, how dare you? I've been abused. And I was like, shut up. Now, now it's your turn to sit down. I, yeah, <laughs> that sounds bad. No, but like, so, like, if, 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 if that's the case, then like you can't make fun of anything. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. He's not yeah. saying to do it. Also, just why like, are you watching? Like, put down your phone. Calm down. Just, I just think if you're if that, if you're sensitive, super you're right. easily offended by things, mm-hmm. don't watch any stand-up comedy. Exactly. I don't know what you could, po- who or what you could possibly watch. Don't follow yeah. comedians. Being offended by something. Yeah. Like, it's it's not coming up with, like, don't click on the special. Don't exactly. click on any stand-up comedy special. He's not going to show up in your TikTok algorithm hey, if you're not looking mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. And your husband isn't suddenly going to get inspired to... This is probably way too dark to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, he's not like gonna make people do terrible things. Like I, I don't uh, yeah, think exactly, unless I'm yeah. unless I'm really a well, fucking idiot saying that. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're just I think people were just some people were upset because they were saying, Oh, you don't have a right. What do we have a right to talk about anything? Yeah. Like I, any anything. I'm just I'm just a big Brooke Schofield fan, so anything she says, I'm like I'm Team Brooke forever. Oh, like I just love her. I think she's so fucking cool. She is. I do. I do love. What her was too. the drama with Brooke and Matt? I don't even know it. Um, I mean, he was. They were like seeing each other, and she found out that he was seeing multiple other girls at the same time. Which Shocker. is sh- shocking, but but I I think that I think he. I mean, I don't fucking know these. They, I I know Brooke, but not well. Um, I don't know the details of their relationship at all but maybe by her surprise she was under the impression i would assume that he wasn't seeing other people and the way he was texting her and what he was saying to her yeah which is you know usually if if you're shocked by someone cheating on you you're, you're under the impression that they're not seeing other people yeah um I think- and then there's a lot a lot of other girls like not just one or two they were all like a group chat they'd gotten together and like, had figured oh, it wow. out like how do it's you have worse time to see and like I get I get like talking to right like I get you can talk to a couple of people at the same time but when you're dating, going if you're hooking dating up. hooking up like being intimate like staying yeah. over I bet it's addictive that's what I've always thought I so say I have yeah. friends and I've known people that as soon as they get famous or they get plastic surgery and they look different a month later aka Matt Rife I'll be honest like, I feel like oh this is gonna sound bad I feel like he really should like now, that was the time. Not a lot of men get that opportunity in their life to play the field with so many gorgeous women and have fun with it. Like he earned Agreed. it. Agreed. <laughs> he, he worked out. He like built himself a personality and a career. Like go sow your wild oats for a couple of years. I and just think then settle down about and you it. start to get older. And yeah, less attractive. I I think that like especially when you're young if that's what you want to do go do it just like be honest or don't say certain things to people that make them think that you're the only one because as well like the sanitation hygiene part of like hooking up and being intimate with someone else like if i thought i was the only person like sleeping with someone i would 
I would I would want to know if they're sleeping with other people so I could take certain precautions if I'm hooking out with them, being intimate, having sex, whatever it is. Because like that's I'm such a fucking hygiene freak. Yeah. With that, that I like I couldn't sleep with mom, mom, more than one person at once because I'd be very scared of other things they could get, I could get. People aren't always safe or whatever yeah. it is. So that would be my biggest concern. I'd be yeah. like, don't don't expose me to things but but see with that you can't you can't rely on anybody else so that's where i think it comes in that until you're in a committed relationship with somebody and that's where the commitment comes in you take the precautions yourself with safety and condoms like you can't depend on anybody else because it's so natural for men to lie I was about to say, like, men when lie. a guy's like, oh, I haven't had sex. Women lie, too, yeah. but men lie. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, this is, I actually saw a video about this, and by video, I mean TikTok. Um, <laughs> do you think men or women are better liars? Oh, women are better. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, because, like, when, peop- when people are like, oh, men lie, I'm like, okay, I think men lie on the fly. I think that, like, when confronted, men fucking scramble, and you can see their brain moving like a fucking Rubik's cube. Yeah, like trying to put you things can watch together. It happening. But women, a lot, like they have a lie in advance. They have it planned. You're they right. have like things thought out of. They 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 have like three different options. Like if he asks this, I'm gonna say this. If he asks, this, if he says this, I'm gonna say like option B. Whatever it is. Yeah. I think women are more manipulative and more strategic with their lying. And I know people always say, like, men lie. Um, they do. But I don't think they're good at planning out the lie. They're not good at they're lying. Like, oh, That's fuck. why they always get caught. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like, agree. What gender is better at lying? See, I don't agree with this. I genuinely think women, maybe not but about, like, really big things. It's saying men engage in more deception, but it doesn't mean they're better at it. I think I think men agreed. <laughs> I think men lie more about like big things, about like like cheating and stuff. I think women lie about like little things. Like I always say, I'm on my way when I'm still at home doing my makeup. Yeah, You're like like that's just I'm yeah. like I'm five minutes away. I'm fifty minutes away. Like yeah. every time. Yeah, it's so, like little things. I think women just maybe more white lies, mm-hmm. but the big things maybe men. I think men are capable of like crazy lies. Yeah, I I think men do that with like if they don't have the nerve or the balls to like end a relationship or like they don't want to be the bad guy. Oh, they end up being the bad guy. But like if they just can't say to someone, I don't want to be with you anymore. Or, I'm not in love with you anymore or whatever it is. They're it's like, also about leaving their like leaving their comfort zone. And I think yeah. this is something women are guilty of, too. Mm-hmm. They just knowing that the relationship is done and that it's not going to go anywhere, but it's comfortable in that moment. Oh, I'm so guilty of that. That's what I do. For sure. I drag it on for so long. And then, How long? Why did it, well, like, my last relationship, I knew, I think we were together three or four years. I knew year two, absolutely not. I was like, no, we're, we're going to break up. And I still always stay for another year minimum. And that's because... Like I become best friends, so I, yeah. and like that at that time, it's 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 very comfortable for me. It's like, well, this is fine for right now, but it's not going to be a forever thing. the The difference is, is I actually say it. I I say those words. I'm like, this isn't going to be forever. I'm not going to marry you. I'm unhappy. I don't see this going wow. anywhere. I'm going to look for something better eventually. Like once you my confidence say that? is back, I'm weird. <laughs> I'm so weird. And then they're always surprised when I break up with them. They're like, uh, yes. They're like, wait, wait. They thought you were getting like jerks, <laughs> like lol, like kidding. Yeah. They really think that you were kidding when you said that. If someone said that to me, I would have my bags packed and be out the door yeah. that night. Yes. Like that night. I don't think they think I'm kidding. I think they take it seriously for a couple of days. And then once like I'm back to normal, I'm no longer in my like little PMS. I'm going to tell you how shit really is stage. They're like, oh, we're cool. We're chill. Like, no, like mm-hmm. and then they just forget mm-hmm. about it. I think they don't want to let go of dating me yet. Too. That's true. That's true. Like you, they like delude themselves. Oh yeah, but Mia like, can be like, I'm in Al Qaeda now, and they're like, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I feel like things you say, if you're saying that when you're PMSing, yeah, you're sad. It's like being drunk. Like there's some like element of truth with it. Yeah. Like it's like if I'm even if I'm in bad mood, I'm, I'm like I will be like crying. Like I'm mad at you, but I still love yeah. you. Yeah, same. Like I want you to fuck off out of my face right now, but I love you. Like yeah. I'll I won't see you in three hours. Like give me some space. Yeah. But like I never, I would never be like I'm never gonna marry you. Like unless I'm, I would. Oh, I I wouldn't. I, I would never say sorry or be like, oh, I didn't mean it. I'd be like, yeah, that's <laughs> like, like 
I feel like I, when I'm not famous, I'm like, yeah, I meant it. That's how I feel. Like, wow, I'm not crazy. happy. <laughs> like, but then I don't have the balls to leave until one day. Neither do they, though. There's a snap. It's on them, I think. If you're telling the truth. I and, always tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Which it seems like in the like that's so on the guys. Like, yeah. they, Gabby, they should be walking out the next day. I they think should, I would yeah. like yeah. There's, there's no way that if, if a guy was like, I don't want to be with you. I no part of me would want to fight for someone who doesn't want to be with me yeah like well i think though so like say with that relationship i was unhappy for a reason it's because it wasn't right so i don't think that they were happy either and it it was a similar situation where we were both comfortable Mm -hmm. but it was it was a two-way street in my opinion yeah that's just that's just wild i was just the one to say it that's yeah that's just fucking crazy (laughs) like yeah, I have never been. If someone's like not interested, you know, some girls and guys like people more when people when they don't like them back. Yeah, could never be me. Me either. Could never be me. Instantly lose no. interest. No, instantly. If I have a crush on somebody and they don't get back to me, I'm like, that's not hot. I want somebody to like be up my fucking ass. Oh, literally. No, <laughs> like, I, like, <laughs> like, yeah, if that's hot to me. Like, show me that you're like, give me the passion. If they're disinterested, I'm like, lame. Yeah, <laughs> every turn time. You off. Huh? No, I want someone obsessed with me. I like obsession. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, like, it's I passionate. Need obsession. Yeah, that that's like the sexiness. It, yeah, is when like there's that instant connection. You're both like drawn to each other. If you don't have that, like it's just a waste of time. Then they're just I'll a pretty be, face. I'll be crazy obsessed too. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, unless you're matching my crazy. Then what the fuck are we doing, man? Like, it's just like, but like the playing hard to get thing or like the, if, if a guy is just like not into me, like some girls and guys, like they want them more yeah. if they can't get them or they can't have them or they don't like them. Just, I don't understand that mentality. If a guy doesn't want me or is not attracted to me, I'm like, okay, cool. There's a lot of other people in the world. Yeah. Like all good. It doesn't, it never makes me want to prove myself to that person. I'm the same. Uh, just, quite the opposite. When I'm fucking in psycho. Yeah. Just. At my door, 24-7. Yes. <laughs> like, call me 36 times in a row while I'm working if I don't answer the phone. I disagree with that. That's a bit much. I mean... <laughs> Those are stalker vibes. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, oh, I love this. That's amazing. <laughs> that you would want 36 calls in a row. Because <laughs> yes. I feel like I can be that crazy. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. Are you doing it because you're obsessed? Like, because you want to talk to them in a good way or... Because you have an unhealthy obsession and you're insecure. Well, look, I would never really do the 36 phone calls, but I think like texting. I would have. Would do if it I again. got 36 calls do it from again. a girl, <laughs> even if she looks like Gabby, I'd be like, <laughs> oh, I think uh, the police need to be notified. Like I'd be legit yeah. nervous. Yeah. But I like sending oh. texts all day. Text no. all day is always good. Yeah. Like a good morning. How are you doing? And then you just text and talk the whole but day. But I like being annoying. Like multiple texts, links to like funny stuff. Yeah. yeah. And that's good. Yeah. Like that's that's why I stayed in my last relationship for so long. Because every time we break up, he get really like obsessive. And like. <laughs> and then you're like, and do you he loves me. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I guess I, I should like, be with him. That's hot. I, yeah. Just show up my door in the middle of the night and fucking bang it down. Like, that's Damn. Kind of hot. Yeah. I get that. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was insane, but it was hot. <laughs> it does sound hot. I, I can see that. I've done that. Showing up in the middle of the night, had sex, and then, but then I get kicked out. They're like, Carlos, you're out of here now. Like, it didn't really work. I mean, we got, we, we got back together a bunch of times, and like I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> but now I'm mature. And emotionally available. So I'm not going to do that again. Just like a healthy level of obsession. You know? Mm. I need also, I have heard myself on the podcast say, you know, that many times. I need, you guys have a water gun and spray my face with water every time I say it. Because I'm trying no, to say it less. We should I put a shock like collar on you. Less too. You know what I- Like a bracelet. Don't make it like really kinky with a collar. Just like a, a bracelet okay. is good. You zap her every time. Actually, I have, I have, I have a, I have one. We'll get one. From like sex games? No, from like dog training. Oh. Like, <laughs> like, why do you have a shot collar? <laughs> like a bar collar. Um, no, just on my wrist. Just like a 
Yeah, don't say that. Because I keep, you know, when people say like, mine is, you know. I fucking hate you know. like. I, I get annoyed if I'm watching something and someone says like too much because I'm like, they're brainwashing me. And I just said it. Oh, <laughs> like, you, you should <laughs> smack me if I do it. Yeah, I, I feel say, like I'm getting brainwashed. I say like a lot. I don't I do. notice You're it in problem. real life. Well, but watching it back, I'm like, sh- myself, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Same. Like, same. Stop. That's how I feel. One of my favorite comments for Gabby, though, is nar. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm just like, good one. <laughs> but it's so, like, basic and not, it, it's not original, but I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Did you read the comments? Sometimes, yeah. They've been really good. Yeah, there's, like, weekly yeah, fans are so cool. Right? Nice but comments. they always make fun of your nar. <laughs> no, we love it, Gabby. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> From all of Australia. Um, I, 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 I could not. My mental health is balances on a fragile pendulum most days, Mia. I am not reading comments. I am going to live my own little state of delusion that everyone thinks this is an amazing podcast and yeah. that we're amazing and that I'm going to die on that hill. I'll go to sleep every night with that thought. I'll die one day with that thought. I will never read the comments on our podcast section. On the bright side, for our podcast specifically, it is going to be the people who watch the show and like the show that are commenting mm-hmm. and taking their time to do that, especially right now. And we have a pretty positive fan base. I was surprised. Guys. Yeah, they're positive. Yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. But if we get more views for hey watching, it then might we'll be get time. yeah, might be time. Which I don't, I don't mind either. I don't mind shit talk. Yeah, okay. take one. If, if my point. views go up because of it, yeah, I'm. Mm-hmm. A, I always look at the bigger picture. Oh yeah, like you know, like a uh, Celeste Baba on Instagram. No, she's like a a parody account. She's like made like stitch my videos making fun of me. Mm. And I'm like, this is embarrassing, but also cool. Yeah. Like, cool. Thanks for the pro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, when you put yourself out there, similar to how I've been hate watching JoJo and a bit of Matt Rife, um, I'm cool with people hate watching me. Like, I don't want to be a hypocrite about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you put Celeste, Baba, Gabby, Epstein, I don't know if it'll show up. She made fun of you? Oh, yeah. It was so amazing. What did she make fun of you about? She, like, stitched one of my... This fucking video. Click on it. Like... Is it in Daily Mail? Yeah, the first one that watches it. I want to like, cringe. I'm going to cringe watching this shit. I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just. <laughs> yeah. Just I, I mean, if you want to listen with noise, you, you get to do it. Does she say anything or is she just kind of making fun of like sh- how a real woman does it? <laughs> like, who doesn't have a perfect body? I mean, she does it with like, with like. Influences, celebrities, just Gabby, you look so hot. Thank you. Just, but do you even try to say? I'm just like for a second, I was like, oh, she has a point. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. AI. It's it's it's. Un- <laughs> she's like, hey, this isn't realistic, and she makes it funny. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely like funny ones. Like she's done like this girl. Let me see her Instagram. She's done some really insane ones, like a girl who was like on her head wakeboarding or something, like something crazy. Um, but that that's like a whole brand. I'm like, oh, it's kind of. You know, there's a lot of cringy videos on the internet. I'm kind of honored that she chose mine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's a lot of bikini videos. What yeah, is, so but... what's the meanest thing you've said to a man? And then these are, what are these? Um, who are the fans. Our, our fans of the yeah. podcast? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did you get these? From Instagram. Do you watch the Instagram stories the for our podcast? Of... No. On yeah, I'm not, I'm not a, I watch TikTok because I fucking I have to. Too, I don't get back to people. I don't really go on Instagram. I'm on there for 14 hours a day. Oh, I know. Like, I'm just, I'm like, I didn't see your DM. Yeah, I did. I, <laughs> I absolutely did. You get back to me fast. I'm like, oh, she's always on her phone. Me? Well, that's because I don't have a good accent. Actually. You're just, you're also, you're easy to reply to because I just like write things bluntly. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's like a work thing. I'm like, you ask me a question. I just like reply quickly. Yeah. Whereas like some people, if I replied, like just an answer like I can't you have to be like soft and yeah, like yeah you don't yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't want to come off more. as rude yes so like the I'll get back to you quickly <laughs> I do every time wait you every... do you worry about coming off rude to Carlos no, no I don't oh I was gonna it. say I, I don't think so <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. in that group chat too <laughs> 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 yeah that group chat <laughs> yeah <laughs> um okay so these are the meanest sa- things these are the meanest things you've said to a man. Not you, people in general. Uh, this can be used as 
um, a vision board, a mood board, inspiration in the future. Fuck yeah. You're welcome. Do you want to start us off? Yeah. One, I accidentally sent him a list of his flaws. I typed in my notes app during event sesh with Bestie. Oh, oh my God. Because that happens. <gasps> I journal flaws all the time when you I'm PMSing. Flaws? And I'm so worried. Yeah, I journal it. Like my journal entries when PMSing are fucking mean. I would pay so much money. Mean. I would pay so much money to see mine. Wait, is it just other people or just your boyfriend? Man, other people. Because I'm, I'm brutally on it. Am I in there? No. I haven't had to journal. She thought about that. I need to lie to I, <laughs> Write that down, guys. Write that down. When I'm going to do that tonight, though. When we bring... <laughs> <laughs> guys, Richie wrote this down. When we bring the lie detector guy back in, that is the first question I am asking. Am I in your journal? Am I in your flawed journal notes? Not yet. I only journal when I'm angry. <laughs> That's the only time. I need to, like, get it out somewhere, and I need to be brutally honest with myself. It's so crazy, though, when you journal... Half an hour in, suddenly you feel better and you've come to some sort of realization. I've never tried it. Like, it really is healthy. I just take it on people around me. Usually I'm a lot nicer to everyone after too. Because you, you're actually the nicest person I've ever met. So that seems so healthy that you get it out on paper. Yes. Whereas mine is like, bleh, like explodes. <laughs> like, I, I, do. I take it out parking I, or like on the road in LA yeah that was me driving by the way I, I don't know it, it is weird that it, like as I'm journaling I'll notice myself when you're being perfect so say if I'm being um I'm being stubborn about something mm -hmm. and I, I haven't taken a second and I'm like really mad as I'm journaling it I'm being completely honest because you don't really want to lie to yourself suddenly I'm like wait you're just being a bitch just go go apologize you're not being mature what a little child is it really that big of a deal no that's so healthy like you're just you're just you're just bitchy <laughs> like, yeah that's i want to try that it's good you know the episode of friends where you guys have all seen friends right mm -hmm. where um rachel gets she sees that list that ross wrote out about her he wrote he wrote like a pro and con list about rachel when he was like trying to decide between her and Julie, like his current I kind girlfriend. I remember, but I don't know how you have such a good memory for TV shows. Because I've watched it all like 17 times, the whole thing, and I watched the same, same five episodes on repeat. Same five shows on repeat. The other way. Anyway, she discovers like a pro and a con list. Yeah. And it's like, I think one of the things are like self absorbed, narcissistic, uh, doesn't have a real job, is a waitress, uneducated, whatever it is. <laughs> I couldn't imagine if I saw a list like that yeah. about me yeah. from a man. Yeah. That'd Wait. be harsh. That was actually one of... You want to? Yeah, yeah. With, with her, though, that was one of the reasons she was... She, I think she's such a great actress is because the character, Rachel, is super selfish and narcissistic in oh, yeah. a lot of ways. But she plays it off so well where it's funny and there's also heart underneath it, which not everyone can do. Because she's kind of not not that great of a person. Yeah, I just, I would love to see my name in like notes app or like what people have written about me. I've never sent it to a guy, but that sucks. That fucking sucks for both parties involved. But I would just love to see it, oh. you know? I don't okay, think I would, you... I, I want a report card from my, I was going to say this last time. I want a report card from people I've dated, like what their least favorite thing. I don't think you actually do. If I, I, I... <laughs> I read back what I write when I'm being like brutally honest and how I feel in the moment. I'm like, oh, I don't think many they ever did. saw that. They'd be ruined, ruined. I don't think <laughs> like, be as, descriptive as you would be, huh? I don't think men would be as descriptive as you would be. Yes, yeah, okay. You know, like I, I mean, right, Carlos? Like men wouldn't really like write like in that great detail. That could just be like yeah. morning breath. Yeah. Okay, relax, yeah. relax. No. Like. <laughs> I said morning breath. He's like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Is that the worst what? thing? <laughs> yeah. It's What's the worst thing you've called a girl? Oh, God. I mean, it's not even like a woman. It's like a person. Like, because I'm not like doing it out of like misogyny. It's more like, I feel like it would have to be like in traffic or a teacher. And I'd be like, oh, you're like a fucking like or something like that. It's like, not that that's us. But it, it's pretty. Yeah. I mean, it. I can yeah. be descriptive, like, but like, yeah. The C word, like my best friend in Australia, we call. We like say it to each other. We're like, catch, yeah. like, and she, and she, she's like a, a little fairy. Like she's this cute little like blonde thing. She literally looks like a little fairy. Yeah. And she's his little voice. She goes, catch, Aww. like it's just like, Aww. but it's like a term of endearment there. Yeah. So like, I think here if, if someone called me, 
And I'd be like, you love me? Okay, cool. Like, it's like, it's what you say to like, friends. I wouldn't know it to my family, but like my friends, it's just not a big deal. But I feel like I could say a lot worse things to men to like really hurt them. <laughs> she turns on the back. She's like, none of these, none of these are good. Oh, I said, I don't think it... I said, I don't think it's supposed to look like that, but I'm not a doctor after getting an unwanted dick pic. Oh. That's actually hilarious. Yeah. That's so funny. That is really funny. I, I want to use that. I want to use that too. I don't get a lot of dick pics anymore. Like, thank God. Yeah. But <laughs> but if I do, I'm going to say That's that. That's a good one. There really is. Yeah, if I just get a random dick pic in my DMs, that would hurt. Just crush the so whole much. entire world. But it's also like not, if anyone's screenshot, it's like not a mean thing to say. It's just being like, maybe go to a doctor. Get that checked out. I, I'm, I'm concerned for your health. It could be funny too. That's hilarious. Like, I just, uh, objectively hilarious thing to say. What are other, like, really mean things to say to a dick pic? Because I like this one. Mean things to say to a dick pic? Yeah. I thought it would be bigger than that. I thought it was bigger than that? Yeah. Mm, no, because it needs to be something that you... <laughs> this is going to sound really bad. It, it needs to be something that they believe, so you're, like, playing off of their insecurities. Why would you... I'm not going to read that one out loud. Yeah. Oh, it does get bigger, right? Video of a hot dog getting sliced up. Slice up? Oh, oh so I do have a, a, a bit of a oh, story. Oh, Jesus. Um, I, when I was in the industry, and keep in mind, I haven't shot for companies in five or six years. It's been a really long time. So this is in my early 20s. I was in Japan shooting for a company there. And um, the I was maybe 21 the guy that I shot with, it was like that hard, like a little mini pickle. And I was so, I was grossed out by it, clear, like clearly, but I, he, yeah, and he, we did, I didn't, he didn't speak English or anything, but I couldn't help but laugh my head off. And I'm looking oh around, God. I'm laughing, I'm looking around at the crew and I'm like, it's the smallest penis I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my and I, god he didn't speak english how do you get into the industry is that a thing is that I a think, fetish i think so the, i was, I was told at the okay. time yeah but, and i was told at the time that they liked um it was popular that they liked seeing unattractive men with young cute girls that that was another really popular um it's very different from america Stop where america it's all about penis. like more attractive men and really big penises so gay. yeah <laughs> is, is it gay I think it's gay. I think it's just like a fetish for like un un attractive men, right? Yeah, no, maybe because yeah. they don't want to see guy, a guy with a six pack with someone like I you. I think it makes them feel it's too unattainable. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, more obtainable. My best friend's wife once said to me, "I don't know how anyone could find you sexually attractive." Oh, so her best friend's wife said that to him. Mm -hmm. I don't know how anyone could find you sexually attractive. I mean, I guess that's a good thing for his best friend. She really doesn't find him, her his best friend, sexually attractive. It's kind of a compliment. Like it means there's no issues there. Kind of a brutal thing to hear. Is it? He's looking on the bright side. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to read. I'm trying to see if there's like. I don't know. I've been told um, by my two previous relationships separately, without even me bringing it up, that I have one of the least sexy personalities that they've ever met. I don't take what? it personally either. Yeah. Well, it's because it's because I'm so goofy when I'm home. But that's I'm not, not. I, and because I'm not, I'm not, that I'm not cool. doing things trying to act sexy. Like I know what sexy is. I know how to act sexy. Yeah. But that's it's an act. Mm -hmm. Like well, I, what, what do you mean? Like it's like not. It, uh, sorry, I'm just like confused by that. Like I think like being goofy is hot. Oh god, I hope it's hot. I was fucked up. I mean, I fucked up for a I long think, time. I think it is too, and I think they probably think it is too, which is why I was still having sex. But I think that just objectively, it's not considered a like a standardly sexy personality, if that makes sense. Why? Because they have this fantasy. They have this obviously this fantasy of you they've built up in their head that they, the reality isn't matching up to. Or even their ex-girlfriends had a lot sexier of a personality naturally. Whereas like oh, I go oh, around okay. just being like goofy and making faces and singing 
the sound of music. <laughs> like, they, like I, they wake up. I'm like, good morning. I love you so much. You love the puffy. I love the puffy. Oh my there God. I like, see it. Give me coffee. Yeah, I see it. I, I so annoying. Agree. Agree. It's so annoying. And it's not sexy. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then I'm in my sweatpants and my big shirt. I'm just walking around. I'm like, the hills are alive. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, see, I thought I was bad. Like, I'm just like, I'm like, I'm not gonna wear lingerie. Like, come lift off this tie dye t shirt that I made when I was ten. That's like, that's like my unsexy version. I'm... That was another level. That was what? What, what do you mean? What happened? I... What do you mean? Oh, I thought something spilled or something. No, no, you. No, I'm in you shock. Like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's I, like what I heard her pet names for her and her dude. Their pet names for each other. Pumpkin. Oh yeah. Bubble Once Bumpkin. Again. Uh-huh. Yep, just proving your exes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's what they're I, not. They're I'm not not, as, not wrong. They're not not wrong, and I've I'm okay with that. I don't look at that and think that's an insult. I'm like, at least I look sexy, and I have like we're best friends, like. I am Great. so sexy compared to you at home. Like, so <laughs> sexy compared to you. I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, I, Even the way I, you say you like dirty talk, you're, it's because you try to be sexy too. I don't try. Like, once that's my, that's why I, I strive for in a relationship is to fully be myself where I don't have to try anymore. I don't think you're not trying. Me not trying is just like me being like, with a fucking tight eye t shirt on, being like, I'm tired, man. Like, just, you are like trying to go the opposite way. <laughs> Trying, trying that's me like, that's me though i'm very like bubbly and i have a very annoying person i know nothing about you yeah. i know nothing about you no, and, and you, you, talk, you won't you won't until you've lived with me for until you talk in a baby voice <laughs> well, i don't know how we can make that work in time for the podcast <laughs> but um the baby talk yeah i can see what they're saying yeah i'm very yeah that also was, can you imagine waking up to like me staring at you and going like, Good morning. I'm so glad you're awake. Oh my god, I've done this today and that today, and so many guys would go for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like they would. Oh yeah. Hey, okay. Rachel. Yeah. I think they would. I think they would. But it's still annoying. It's like that thing where you look and you're like, well, she's precious. Like I'm so lucky, but also shut the fuck up. <laughs> but but is, is, is that a thing? Because I, like, I feel like guys are like, oh, like my girl's like annoying. My girlfriend's annoying. If they didn't have an annoying girlfriend, they'd be like, why isn't she blowing me up? Yeah, I mean, they're with that person for a reason. That, like, Mia's personality seems very unique to those who like her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's the lawyery way to say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Wait, find the people who appreciate it. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? I said, what, since when do we say things in a lawyery way? I was just trying to be funny by saying it, like, like uh, civilly. You okay. bombed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on. <laughs> I feel like these aren't that mean, though. <laughs> these aren't that mean. Like, these aren't that mean. I feel like I've heard Mina. I think I've said Mina. <laughs> what have you said? Wait, 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 wait. This one. Nine. We've been married for 13 years, and you never made me orgasm once. Jeez. To be fair, I said that after I found out he'd been cheating on me. Why do you <clears throat> get married if the person you... Ma- that, okay. Fuck, welcome to my TED Talk. Why would you get married if you don't orgasm from having sex with that person i know there's like other things in a relationship that are very important as well but if you've never orgasmed with that person do you get married to them um i'm not victim blaming at all but it's really hard it can be really hard to orgasm from sex i don't i don't orgasm 99.9 percent of the time i have sex really yeah it's hard it sucks it's it's hard Lucky you. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> Privileged over here. <laughs> like, <laughs> that sucks. I didn't know that. But that's a lot of women. Like, it, it's, it, it is. It's from, like, just sex alone. It's very difficult. Um, wow, I'm in the one, top 1% one of something. I Jesus. <laughs> Coming. Coming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! But yeah, I mean that also. Okay. Yes, I yes. Been, it is. It is difficult. I feel for like people waiting thirteen years to say it though. Like, come on! You should have said that a long time ago, so he could have switched it up and actually gave it a shot. Like, yeah, he, like he, he's not try. a mind reader. Like, but, how is he gonna know? But are you just lying for thirteen years? That that's so tiring. Yeah. 
yeah. Like, so how do you keep that up for 13 years? I don't know how many times you have a week of sex. I mean, we, you know, 52 weeks in the year, whatever the number is. That's a lot of sex. Yeah. Hopefully that you're having that you're not getting pleasure out of. Yeah. That's a lot. And do, like, Well, actually, so here's the thing. I don't think that you need an orgasm to have pleasure. Like, I love all the other things about it. So, like, I'm, I like everything else. I'm at, I, the, coming is m- the least of my concern during sex. Because I could do that by myself with my vibrator in two minutes. And I'm... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like, I disagree. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just a long, it's a long time. If he, if he, I'm like, I have so many questions to this person. I'm like, does he think he's making you come every time? Does he think you're getting an orgasm? Are you faking yes. it? Or does he just not care? Yeah. Does he just like not care for 13 years that he hasn't made you come? Also, if he cheated on her, maybe they were not like, maybe the sex wasn't that great. So I'm just putting two and two together. He's never made an orgasm and he cheated on her. Kind of sounds yeah. like the sex was shit. Yeah. That's like one thing I don't understand. Like I, people say, and I know things change over time when like you've been with someone for like a very long time or you have kids and like people's bodies change, whatever it is. But like if you're not having good sex with a partner, like that's, the relationship I, that's such an important, is. it's not everything, relax guys, but it's like an important part of like connecting with another course, person to me. It releases the love hormones. Yeah. Like it's it's necessary for I mean not for everybody cuz everyone like they're like people are different but for I think the majority of people it's one of the bigger things. It's like to connect and like show your love and intimacy. Yeah, like it it takes me time to like feel comfortable with someone like I think like I said before on another episode like I want I need to make sure you think I'm cool even when I'm awkward during sex. Like that's important to me. That that takes time. But yeah. If you're having like consistently bad sex with someone, if everything else checked out, that'd be really hard for me. Yeah. To like keep going with that. Yeah. It'd be really tough because like that's such a big thing in like both of your lives. Like stay, even saying to the like long term. I don't okay, I guess for other, some people it's like not a priority, but it has to be not a priority for both of you. Yeah. To just like be on the less scale, the lower scale of importance. Yeah. I have a lot of opinions today that aren't really making sense. <laughs> <laughs> I went out last night. Guys, I went out last night. I'm really fucking tired, if you can't tell. <laughs> I'm going to Stagecoach next weekend. Ooh. I don't know when this will be released. Probably after the Stagecoach. Yeah, just be out. Yeah, I have, like, I have too many cowboy hats. Do you? Yeah, Carlos was saying he has a lot of sneakers. I have so many fucking cowboy hats that just sit there. No, I'm, I'll send you a photo. I have, are you doing push-ups? No, yoga. Oh, God. <laughs> like, <laughs> I used to get them. I used to fucking. I've been sitting for a while. Okay, what is going on today? I don't even know. We're, <laughs> We're getting real comfortable. Yeah, we're getting real comfortable. <laughs> just, oh my God. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to look for mean things we've said to men. Because I've said some fucking mean things. I told him he looked like he drives a Prius. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty mean. That's, that, that's the meanest thing I could think of. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think I think I say very mean things until we break up, and then I'm like, unleash the kraken. <laughs> oh yeah, this he is will this, laugh. This is all like I don't care about you yeah. anymore. <laughs> oh, I did. I also did say I wrote them in here. I think I contributed the most of the question box yesterday. I've I have said that you look like you order your steak well done. Me? <laughs> to men. Oh. Mm-hmm. Just calling him a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's what <laughs> most of my insults revolve around. <laughs> Not like attacking their character. I'm just like, you look like a pussy. <laughs> I'll just call him a pussy. <laughs> and then I feel awkward if I don't know him that well. I'm like, I thought we were cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching Out of Bed with Mia and I. We hope this was an educational podcast for you. Um, we gave you some inspiration and we gave you some notes for your vision board and future journaling endeavors um doing this this is put us in a different category of the podcast like the educational ones <laughs> like it's just us and human <laughs> and I'm, just like, I'm just saying guys i don't know what fucking category we're in right now what category are we what category are we in comedy Black girls. 
Hot girls. Is that, a, is that a category? Comedy. That has to be a category because that's our only qualification. We <laughs> barely pass with that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, not barely, Gabby. <laughs> Give yourself a little credit. <laughs> Look what I'm fucking wearing right now. Let's be real. I could have tried a little bit. Hot girl. Mm-hmm. Cheers, uh, guys. We always do. We just keep talking shit. Yeah, it's cool. And now we cut.